Welcome to this introductory lecture uh, on section one of my jewellery design course for ZBrush. Now this course will teach you advanced skills to be able to create and control detail inside ZBrush. Aimed at jewellery designers, the course shows you how to measure and scale accurately inside ZBrush and how to export your models from ZBrush. Now in this first section, what we're going to look at is base ring creation. So we're just going to be creating a basic ring shape and then I'll be showing you how we can add certain things, how we can actually lower the um, thickness here. So we've got a 15 millimeter ring thickness here. Uh, we have a 14 millimeter here and a 13 millimeter here and so on to 12 millimeter. So using these skills, you can basically set the thickness to any of your rings that you're working with. Now also in this section, we'll be looking at um, actually creating a bevel as well, a bezel on the ring. So I'll just show you that quickly. So there we've got a ring bezel. The bezel comes in too far with this 15 millimeter mandrel or cut out. So if we go to that, you can actually see the edge starting to form there. So these are using simple booleans and we can create these sort of things within sort of three minutes or so. Uh, this uh, forms the base of the ring in which we can then start adding more detail and deforming. So this section that I mentioned is all about this sort of side of things. If we have a look at this ring here, you can see a more elaborate version where I go into a little bit more detail in section one of the jewelry design course for ZBrush. Then I'll show you how we can use this to actually create a kind of band going through the ring um, in which we can add more detail into that ring, making it smooth and we can increase detail into the inner side as well to make that flush. Um, so this course uh, covers a ton of stuff. In this first section, we'll just be looking at the basics. Please remember also that uh, this course is for complete beginners. So with that in mind, I have actually got a pure basic ZBrush course for complete beginners. If you're just taking up ZBrush, you need to watch and learn some of the basic skills uh, for a beginner in ZBrush to be able to take this course. Now don't worry because that absolute basics course is completely free. So you watch that, it's not a big video, but it does prime you for all of my more advanced lectures uh, in this jewelry design course for ZBrush. Also, by the way, the Pure Basics course sets you up for any of my prime premium courses on my website, courses.mojomojo.design. Okay, so that's section one, and that's what we'll be doing. So we're going to start very simply and then build more detail in um, later in the lessons. So this is the first one. Keep your eyes peeled for um, the other sections, which I'm going to add these little intro videos on. So you guys uh, on the course and on my YouTube channel can see this and see what we're doing in each of the sections. At the moment, I'm up to 30 sections. The course is absolutely massive. There's over 370 videos, um, video lectures. Um, covering so much and 30 sections at the moment and I'm still adding to it. I also have a Facebook community that supports uh, this course as well where I have many professional jewelers that have been working in the industry for 30, 40 years plus, okay? 